everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of the Hexit with Eros, and it is the next morning of our Minecraft day, and I made, remember that purple tree that we cut down a little bit of? Well, I turned all that wood into sticks, and it gave me purple sticks, which is awesome, but I don't think, yeah, it's not going to give me like a purple diamond pickaxe like handle, but that is really cool. I wonder if you can get like purple crafting tables or purple chests or something because if so that would be really cool and I'm going to use the rest of these diamonds I guess I'll make a chest plate and I'll make iron pants and boots and that should be good for now so this is where I stayed for the night, um, in this little hole, it's right outside there, there are, oh, it's a creeper. He doesn't like me. He says, why did you move into my neighborhood? Don't you know this is the bad part of town? Why can't I hit you? Why? <laughs> well, that was interesting. <laughs> but yeah, my sword is about to break. I should really make an iron one, but I don't think I have any more iron. Do do. No. Should I make. Well, I mean, if there's gonna be diamonds anywhere, everywhere that we go, <laughs> I might as well make a diamond sword. So there we go. <laughs> and I'm gonna put some more of this stuff away. I guess this will be maybe our temporary house. Maybe we'll turn this into something amazing. Who knows? And I found this. I think it fell off one of the uh, the chocobos out there. So I guess I don't have to kill the chocobos to get a feather. Which is really cool. And with this feather, we see here, we can make saddles. Which is really cool. And there's a couple different recipes for saddles. And I don't really understand why. Because this one takes a feather and a piece of leather, and this one takes a feather, a piece of leather, and two string. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't just make this one. Maybe there's some conflicting mods or something. And there's also... We can make saddle bags. We can make backpacks. And we can make a chocopedia, which I'm really interested to see what that is. We need a bunch of feathers, ink sack, lapis, book, and a gold nugget, and we can make um, disguises. <laughs> I'm really excited to see what that is going to look like. Yeah, we can make arrows. So hopefully we can get some more of these feathers to make things. And I'm really uh, want to, you know, get my chocobos together. And put them in a safe place <laughs> where I know where they are and maybe start breeding them if we can. I'm pretty sure we can. Um, I'll have to figure out how you do it though because when I gave it the food, um, the galashi green, it didn't get the hearts above its head and usually hearts are an indicator that they are ready to breed but they just, you know, made some smoke. So there is one of our little friends, and not sure where our other one went. Oh, he's way over there. He's still taking a bath. He is a very, very dirty boy. We're going to have to come up with a really, <laughs> really cool name for that little dude over there. And I still have my furnace. And I wonder if they dropped a feather. Did you drop a feather? <gasps> they did. So, yep. So that's how we get them. They just, like, poop out feathers instead of eggs, you know. It is poop feathers. <laughs> and I wonder if there's any more feathers by this guy. Or if they can, can they even poop out feathers when they're in the water? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, that is so cute. You are such a cutie. And I've only found the yellow ones so far. And I wonder if they come in different colors. Or maybe if we breed them. They have a chance to be a different color, but we'll see. I see another little friend over there, and I'm going to feed him. 
Because like I said, if you want lots and lots of friends, all you have to do is just give stuff. Give them stuff and they will totally want to be your friend. Give me those feathers! Well, I guess it's kind of like a mutual thing. You know, you're trading me feathers, I'm giving you food. There we go. I guess he did make the little hearts, but he doesn't have the hearts anymore. And I can't feed them any more of this, so I guess I have to do something else with this. Let's see. Can I change this? Ooh, I totally can. Let's see, I can have a stem, a cake, a golden lashy, love, loverly. Oh, that's probably it. That's probably what you need to feed them. Oh, um, we can make pickles and seeds. So this loverly one, let's see, how do we make this? Tell me, maybe. Are you not gonna tell me? Hmm, very interesting. Maybe there is not uh, a recipe for that yet? Or maybe I'm doing something wrong? Oh, there's a recipe for cake. I wonder if you have to give them cake? Um, is there a recipe for a golden one? No. Let's see, if I... Let's see. Pickles, cake. Maybe there's only pickles and cake. <laughs> I'm not sure. Or maybe we can't craft these. Maybe we have to find these somewhere. Which that would make sense because this is all about adventures. And we would have to find our really cool loot. Which I'm down with. That's okay. More flowers. And... Yeah, I only see those three over there. So, I wonder if there's more this way. Ooh, I'm gonna break my legs. So let's take a quick peek um, and see what is over- Did I just hear an arrow? <laughs> or am I just hearing things? That pig is like freaking out. He's like, oh my god, I love holes. I love holes. Oh, well, don't stop because of me, man. <laughs> So let's head this way and we'll come back and make sure our friends are okay in a little bit. But let's see, is there anything in here? Ooh, maybe there is. <gasps> what? A skeleton spotter. And we have some wheat, bones to pick, some apples, some bread. That is very cool. I think I'm gonna steal these chests. Maybe I should just leave them. Well, I'll come back, cause yeah, they're really close. So I will come back and get them if I want those chests. And it's already at night time again. Well, I don't have a bed yet, so we are just gonna be adventurers. I do have a diamond chest plate, so I totally got this, guys. Don't you worry. And what are... Those are not elephants. <laughs> are they? Are those mammoths? That would make sense because it's like in a snowy place right next to the freaking jungle. What are these? These are mammoths! That is awesome! Hey, buddy. You look like really freaked out. You look like the deers that get caught in headlights. <laughs> that is so cool. Are you stuck? I can move you. That is so cool. I wonder if we will be able to breed these too, because that would be really cool. <laughs> They make such a silly noise. And over here I see some structures already made and I wonder... Oh, there's some sheep. Maybe I should... Do I have any iron? No, I can't make any shears, so... I'm sorry! <laughs> we have to make some sacrifices and unfortunately today... Did you, did you not drop it? There we go. So we are going to make a bed. We have enough. 
I see a bunch of spawners, so let's go a little bit more this way. And is that another mammoth? That mammoth's like, I really want to be in that tree right now. And we are going to make a crafting table. And then we are going to make a bed. We are going to sleep. And maybe we'll sleep in the house. I mean, that makes sense, right? And I wonder if there's a chest in here. <gasps> there is. Got some bread, some iron, some flint and steel, and some bones. Good morning. And I'll just leave that bed there for now. And I'll just leave that crafting table there too, since I have a bunch of wood with me. Because there are some things here and I want to see what they are. So I saw there were spawners in here, so we gotta be careful. <laughs> what? An empty chest? Really? Did you steal my loot? Did you steal my loot? Where are my torches? They're where they always are. Well, we have double zombie spawners. Maybe we can make some sort of grinder because that is really cool. And what is over here? <gasps> this looks interesting. Well, that looks interesting too. But this, this looks very interesting and scary. I wonder if we can totally do this. We got this, guys. I just heard this scary noise. There's chests. Oh my god! <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> that scared me so much. <sighs> You're not scary now that I know what you are, but oh, are you mad at me too? You don't be mad. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. Oh. Holy crap. No, oh, don't leave me alone, dude. Oh my god. That was the scariest thing ever. I didn't even know that chest could come alive and have teeth and try to kill you. <laughs> Wow. Well, now I know I have to be extra careful because the chests are a lie. <sighs> so now that we know what they are, <laughs> maybe we can be a little more adventurous. And I wonder, I don't have enough to make a helmet yet, so. I wonder if that guy's still mad at me. Just leave me alone, dude. There was, like, a chest dude, and if I hit you, I'm really sorry. But I was scared. And I'm just gonna, maybe... Oh, that skits me every time. Every time. You like that, huh? You like being on fire, you little hot mess? What are they dropping? They're dropping ectoplasm? What is this for? Ectoplasm. We can use pulp, milk, and that to make glowing goo. And powder slush to make glowing goo as well. And what is glowing goo for? Is it for anything? Maybe? I'm not sure. It's not telling me. <laughs> Are you still mad? Just, just chill out, bro. Okay. I wonder if this chest is real. No. I should have known. Come and get me. He dropped some. <laughs> that is like, feels like I'm in Beauty and the Beast. Alright, I think I figured out the secret. 
is when you hover over them, they tell you it's a mimic. So now we know that those chests are bad chests and we should stay away from those. And there's a skeleton in there. And more chests. That's a mimic. That's a fake chest. Stop being so fake. And he has an enchanted bow. That's not fair. And he didn't even drop it. There are tons of spider webs. And I'm having trouble moving. Maybe it's because I'm getting stuck in those or something. There we go. And golden zombie. It's invisible. But haunted armor. Ooh. What are you doing? You have a lot of health, dude. <laughs> so there's a new- Oh, we got a zombie head! That is so cool. Did we get it? No. Where is that zombie head? There it is. Now we have a helmet. And I hear tons and tons of mobs. Are these real chests? This one's real. Ooh, it has an enchanted book, an aqua affinity one. We have some more iron, some string. Ooh, shiny bobbles. Oh, there's, what is this? That's weird. There's like a special place for books. We have a saddle. Ooh, we can use that for our chocobos. And I'm going to put some of this junk away so we can get all these books. And the saddle. Let's see, so we have Unbreaking 1, Fire Aspect 2, Knockback 1, and Infinity 1. And I'm running out of room. I need backpacks. I guess I'll drop off. I don't need this stuff, but I do want these. That is weird. I wonder why it's like this. Hmm. Who knows? Oh, I like how the inner canner, or it shows what I'm wearing, it shows the zombie head. That is awesome. And what is this? A rare mob. Oh my god, we're gonna die. We're totally gonna die. Uh, what? I am sick. He poisoned me. Poisonous exhaust darkness. So I guess each time I hit him, he like poisons me or something. But we are doing a good job, and he is dead. When does this go in? Ooh, what did he drop? He dropped... What can I get rid of? I don't want this. An efficiency 3, unbreaking 3, living metal pickaxe. Ooh. That is... Cool. I wonder if it does anything else special? I don't know what living metal means. I don't know. But that is really cool. And let's see what's over here. More of those living armor dudes or haunted armor. There's a bunch of them over here. They're all like chilling, sleeping, hanging out, and they're like, hey guys, I think somebody's over here. Maybe we should slowly get up. Die. <laughs> see, and they're dropping that weird green stuff too. And go away. What is- oh my god. Go away Minotaur. Nobody wants to be your friend. And what did he drop? He dropped something Oh. The 
I didn't see until then. He dropped burrow pelt. I wonder if we can do anything with this. We can make boots. We can turn that into leather. That's cool. This guy's waking up. <laughs> He's like, hey, am I late for the party? Well, you know, I know these spider webs were supposed to be like kind of creepy and scary, but it's definitely helping me out making all the mobs really, really slow. And they get stuck in it. What? Is there like a spawner? Oh. And we are dead. <laughs> And we are back, and I'm just gonna try to grab all my stuff and get out before I get- Are these real? No. This is, these are not real stuff. I wonder where all those monsters went. Is this real? Yes. Okay, well I'm just gonna put some stuff in there just so I can grab the rest of this stuff. And you are totally fake. <laughs> so it looks like we're safe in here now. Oh no, there's that guy right there. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna block this off really quick just so we can get our inventory settled in. Hello! <laughs> you found me! Whether you just keep spawning, I'm gonna get. Probably should get out of this area because I don't know what is up with. Oh, I woke them up. <laughs> oh, I woke all of them up! No! It's not fair! There's so many of you! Oh my god. No! No! Well, we survived. He needs. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Alright. I am going to make a run for it and I'm gonna put some of this stuff away because I really don't want to lose this stuff because I right here is our little hole in the wall and let's drop off some of this stuff get out of my way vines I wonder if there's anything bad in here it looks like we're all good and put some of these away we have our zombie head. We should definitely put that somewhere. Oh, we should, um, see, what do we need to make a display? Display case? Um, uh, let's see, we need, we need a piece of glass, um, piece of, I guess we can use any wool or certain wool for what color we want, and we need oak slab. Or we can use spruce or jungle wood. Um, we don't have any wool, so when we get some more wool, we'll definitely make one of those to put our little zombie head in. But for now, we're just going to put them on the wall. And let's see. I want to make... Let's see, we can make a saddle. Me, wait. Yeah, we have a saddle already, so don't we just... Or do we? Do we lose our saddle? No, it's right here. Um, let's see if we can make a chocobo saddle with a normal saddle and a feather. And we can! That is amazing! Let's see, what else can we make? We can make a backpack. We don't have any leather yet or wool, so we'll have to wait on those. Um, Chocopedia. Um, I think I have lapis. And do we have any ink sacks? No. But we have lapis and we have gold, so we can start cooking up some of those. And it is night time! Oh, you know what? I totally forgot you can make wool from string. So, we can turn a bunch of this. I wonder if we have any more in here. Yep, enough for one more piece. 
so let's see we can make a bed and go sleepy sleep and for now we'll just put our bed right here but we will definitely you know make the place a little bit better <laughs> There we are, and let's let's make that display case right now. So we only have white. I wonder if we let's see. Let's look at the recipes again. We can make red, blue, green, black. Yeah, so we have to make one of those colors. Um, well, we can make blue because we have some lapis. So let's do that. So we make this piece of wool blue, and we need a piece of glass, um, which we'll need to cook up some sand for, and we need slabs. We can use oak slabs, spruce slabs, birch slabs, or jungle slabs, and see right now we only have, I think, jungle wood, <laughs> so we will be making uh, jungle wood display case with blue wool. Make a couple of those and we need one piece of sand. Is there any sand over here? No. Alright, so let's get that sand. There should be some um, by that water over there. And we have our glass. So we have our glass, our slabs, and our wool. And let's make our display case. And we'll definitely um, be rearranging our little house we have here right now if we end up staying here. So, you know, we can move this and make this look better. But for now, we are going to make our display case. And I think if you shift, right click it, you open it just like that. Yep. And then if we shift and put the zombie head. No, that's not right. <laughs> um, hmm. Maybe we have to face. There we go. <gasps> that looks so cool. And if you shift again and. Ooh, no, that's not right. How do we close it? <laughs> That is so cool and yeah we can close it and open it and put new stuff in there and we can proudly display our zombie head that we got from our first big dungeon experience that we will have to finish later um, I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you have any questions for me make sure you leave them down below in the comments and if you like this video and you want to see more of it, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And it was fun, and I will see you next time. 